Wrestling fans, welcome to this week's edition of NWA Smoky Mountain TV. I am Jeff Baker filling in for Matt Rhodes. I'm accompanied by the lovely Miss Ashley Hope, the SSW Ladies Champion. I want to talk to you about tonight. That's right, tonight, Southern States Wrestling Spring Spectacular at the old King Sport National Guard Armory. It's going to be an action-packed card. I need every single one of you all to come check it out. Ashley. You know, Jeff, coming up. Saturday, May 21st, at the Kingsport Civic Auditorium, the NWA Smoky Mountain is going to present their 7th Annual Collision Course. And we'll hear more on that later on, but right now let's take a look at the footage from your match against Tony Gibbons. The bell's underway. Your opening match on Southern States Wrestling this week. Power half hour as you've got Tony the Dragon Gibbons taking on Jeff Baker and uh, what should be a great opening contest as they locked up collar and elbow as Baker oh, caught Gibbons right there with a hard shot in the ropes and Gibbons refines right back in kind as these guys are starting off with a slugfest here. Matt Rhodes, I tell you what, you talk about history, these guys have got a lot of it, NWA Smoky Mountain. Well, here's a guy in Jeff Baker that Tony Gibbons broke in to professional wrestling, trained him and everything that he knows, Jeff Baker learned it all from Tony Gibbons. To, or Jeff Baker turned his back on his friends and decided to join another group. Well, there's a lot of bad blood, as you said, Joe Wheeler, between these two guys. And I expect to see a slugfest here today on the Power Half Hour. Oh, absolutely. Tony Gibbons, he definitely wants to uh, gain a measure of revenge against Jeff Baker as Baker's hit him from... Uh, all sides and everywhere in between as of uh, recent weeks. And now we see Baker's got Givens in a side headlock here. Givens trying to get out, shoots him in, and uh, catches him with a shoulder tackle. Baker is uh, going to take the weight advantage in this, but Tony Givens certainly has the ring experience inside the squared circle. And we've got a nice arm drag there, Joe. What a great contest to start out this week's edition of the Power Half Hour. No doubt about that, Michael Sutherland. Tony Givens has got Jeff Baker in control with that arm drag. And in, in arm bar position, fans, we want to remind you, don't forget it's this Saturday night, April the 30th, Kingsport, Tennessee, the old National Guard Armory right there on West Stone Drive. Southern States Wrestling Spring Spectacular. You want to be sure to join us. That's this Saturday night in Kingsport, Spring Spectacular. As uh, Givens now into the buckle hard, up and over his man as Baker came in. Gibbons ducked under again right there and caught him with a beautiful cross body block. This could do it right there. Referee got a two count out of that one. What a great exchange there, Matt Rhodes, by two guys who, uh, wow, have a lot of history here and a lot to prove to folks as well. The athleticism of Tony the Dragon Gibbons amazes me. Been in this sport a little over 10 years. Jeff Baker, on the other hand, just a couple of years under his belt. But in that two years' time, Joe, Michael, he's made no friends in professional wrestling, pretty much alienated all the friends he had starting out here. As you see, now Tony Givens that forearm drag and twist here. Tony Givens going to methodically try to work the body part over here, try to break it apart. You see Jeff Baker grabbing the arm. He is hurting bad here on the Power Half Hour, guys. Fans, you can see action just like you're seeing right now every Saturday at noon right here on the CW4 as NWA Smoky Mountain brings you another 30 minutes of action. And it's an action-packed weekend, Saturdays and Sundays. Saturday with NWA Smoky Mountain at 12 noon and Sunday at 1 with the SSW Power Half Hour right here on the CW4 as Tony Givens, he's gripping that arm again and he's putting a lot of pressure on that elbow of Jeff Baker and you can hear Jeff Baker, he's hollering, he's in some pain and uh, but I'm not sure that he's gonna give up with this, Joe. No, I would, I would doubt that as I'm sure Baker's still got a lot more fight left in him than that as uh, Givens though, Working over that arm, applying a ton of pressure. Baker's been able to make his way back up to a kneel, kneeling position at least. Now up to a full vertical base as Givens winding up on that arm. I tell you what, it's student versus teacher here. Southern States Wrestling along with NWA Smoky Mountain. Oh, and Baker caught him right there with that knee. He was able to block Givens when he came off with that cross body attempt. And Baker drove that knee in. And now looks like he's using an abdominal claw perhaps. Just digging into that midsection at Givens. And what a great strategy. You, you know, I don't like Jeff Baker by any means, but you got to give the guy credit. He blocked the maneuver, and now he's going right in on that weakness, and Givens finds himself in trouble, Matt Rhodes. See, that knee to the midsection, he may have broke some ribs. And, you know, Jeff Baker's showing some knowledge. He's been around Chris Richards, 
smelling blood in the water and going on the attacks. You see there once again with that claw, the abdominal section of Tony the Dragon Givens. Pretty much Tony Givens here cannot get a breath at all. You see that claw locked in. He can't breathe right now. And if you can't breathe, you can't get up on your feet. And if you're not on your feet, you can't compete in the ring. Well, that's a good point. You know, Tony Givens has some Bo James, former NWA Smoky Mountain Tag Team Champions. You know, in a lot of the matches that you see at a lot of the events around the Mountain Empire, one of the driving forces between the competitors uh, in the matches is going to be eventually climbing that ladder for championship gold. I don't think either one of these guys are, uh, have championships in their sights. This is just bad blood all the way around. No doubt about that, Michael Sutherland, as Tony Givens fired in a couple of shots right there. Well, hitting the ropes, comes across, going for a sunset flip. He's got him, but they're in the ropes there as referees breaking that action up. As Baker back on his feet very quickly here as waiting on Givens, it seems, and going right back in. Great, great strategy by Jeff Baker. Going in with that bear hug and clamping off Givens, clamping off that oxygen supply even more, putting more pressure on that injured midsection and ribs as uh, Baker is really taking it to Givens in this matchup. And, uh, you know, I'm not on the Jeff Baker bandwagon by any means, but when you see a good strategy, you got to call it for what it is, Matt Rhodes. Once again, Joe, that's knowledge learning from guys like Chris Richards, who we'll see out here in just a few moments, that bear hug. I've seen Richards use that move many a time in his career, and Jeff Baker is learning each and every day in this sport of professional wrestling. As you see, though, the veteran, Tony Givens, though, fighting out with a swinging neck breaker. He may have opened the door of opportunity right here to get back on top. Well, that was pure adrenaline running through Tony Givens right there. As Givens has suffered a, a, a terrible uh, thrashing, I guess you could say, over the last three or four minutes, taking all the wind out of his sails, so to speak. But uh, Tony Givens, he's got that maybe that last uh, wind there coming up. Jeff Baker making his way up to his feet very slowly, I might add. And, uh, well, catches Tony Givens in a precarious situation over there in the uh, corner, driving those shoulders right into the midsection. Still working on that mid-region of Tony Givens' front and back area. So he's, uh, he's got several crucial points that he's working on there. But now that kick right to the face, that's going to stop Jeff Baker right in his tracks. No doubt about that. Givens exploded with that kick right there. Dropped Jeff Baker, and now Givens is up in that high rent district on that second rope. He's waiting on Baker, it seems. Get him just where he wants him here. And the dragon flies, but it was unsuccessful as Baker was able to move out of the way. And Givens is in trouble now. And Baker right back to the midsection of Tony Givens with a big knee and follows it up with that abdominal claw hold once again as Baker has really got a stra sound strategy here. And he's been able to cause a lot of trouble for Givens in this contest using a move I haven't seen utilized in a long time in that abdominal claw but it's proven to be very effective after Givens missed that body block attempt earlier and Baker was able to get that knee to the midsection he has stayed on that and stayed on it and Givens is fighting for himself in there Matt Rhodes I tell you what Tony Givens has got to fight now Jeff Baker Joe is display some good psychology in this match out thought his opponent but as I say that Tony Givens comes back with a springboard off the middle rope with a back elbow it has a clothesline to Jeff Baker and right now the dragon is coming back like he has so many times over the years for these fans here in Kingsport and all across the country Michael oh absolutely and there was a really stiff savant kick right to the midsection and kicked him right in the head and that's going to dim the running lights of Jeff Baker, that's for sure. Come in. Oh, man, took him down. What a driving blow there. And, uh, hey, guys, I'm telling you, if Jeff Baker can get over there and make a cover, he may pick up a victory right here on the path. Well, now look at what a nonchalant cover this is. One, two, and, of course, you're not going to put Tony the Dragon Givens down with that. Stupidity. Well, okay, for lack of better words, stupidity maybe. Uh, maybe a lack of experience. Maybe he's just a little bit overzealous and thinking that Tony Givens is already down for the count, but right there, that proves wrong, Joe. No doubt about that, and uh, Givens now setting up here. Oh, he went for the super kick. Baker blocked it, and Givens ducked under the clothesline. Givens did connect with the super kick. This could do it right here. Referee's in, and there you have it. Tony the Dragon Givens is your winner of this contest.